Hello Starfish, uh, good to see you again, hope you are all well and keeping very busy. Um, so today I'm going to do a little bit of maths with you and um, we're going to talk about the bar model. So what is the bar model? So the bar model is very much like the part part whole model which Nav was telling you about. It is a representation of number. The difference being, if I just pan my camera down, if you see here, our bar at the top is 10, so that is the whole. And if we split it into half, the 5 and the 5 would make the 10. At the bottom one, we've got 10 still being our whole, but because 9 is the bigger part of the whole, and one is a smaller part of the whole, they're shown almost to scale. Okay, so that is the main difference between the part part whole and the bar model. The bar model can also be used for adding, subtracting, times, and also divide. But we're only going to use it for adding and maybe a little bit of taking away subtraction today. Okay, let's get on with it. So you're going to need a piece of paper, or if you do have a whiteboard at home, that'd be brilliant. Uh, and you can just draw the bars like I've done. So for example, down here, I've got my 10 as my whole, and I've got eight as part of that whole. So what is missing here? So what would make 10 if we've already got eight? Okay, I'm going to use either bottle tops or some pasta shapes to help me. If you're at school, you'd probably have cubes or you'd have the base 10 to help you. But I'm just going to use things I've got at home. So let's do the pasta shapes. So I need to show 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 nine, 10, so 10, that's my whole. So I know I've got eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what's the missing bit? I can see from moving those that two is my missing bit. Now, if you've answered a challenge, Think about this number as 100 instead. Okay, so now each pasta shape is going to represent 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And 80 is the number we know. So we want to work out what the missing bit is to give us 100. So let's try. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So there's 80. So what's my missing bit? 10, 20. Okay. Okay, so let's see how this works when we've got a, a number sentence. So I'm going to pan back down to my bar model. I'm using 10 again. So 10 is my whole. And 7 is what we know. So if this was a number sentence, it would be 7 add something. There's the something equals 10. Okay, so we can use our pasta shapes or our bottle tops if we want to. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's my ten. And I know I've got seven already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what is it that makes the ten? Well, it's going to be these bits here, isn't it? One, two, three. Three. Okay, you can check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the total was ten. So I knew my seven 
I can see now that three is what would make the total the whole of 10. If we're feeling particularly smart, we can do the inverse, we can do the opposite. So we can say, we know we've got 10, we've taken away something which left us with the seven. So, if we've got the seven, what did we take away from the 10? There's the 10. Okay, what did we take away there to leave us with the seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's right, we took away the three. So 10, take away three, equals seven. There's the 10, take away the three, we've got on our missing bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't forget, if you wanted to do that as a challenge, you could do it as 100 and 70, and then what is missing? So what would make 100 if you've already got 70? So what I'd like you to do now is see how many different ways that you can make 10. So can you see these bar models here? Okay, I hope you can see that. So you can see in the top one, they're all, the whole is 10 on all of them. But this first one, you can see that you've got two. So what would be your missing bit here? 10, and you've got five. So what would be your missing bit here? You've got 10 and one on this one. What would be the missing bit? So have a go, see how many ways you can make 10 using the bar model. See if you can write the number sentences as well. So, number sentences like we did for the seven and the three. If you're really, really smart, maybe you could have a go at doing the subtraction number sentence as well. And if you really want a challenge, think about it as 100 again. So what would you do for 100? So if your bar, your hole at the top is 100 and you've got 10, what would this be? 10 and what makes 100? Give it a go, see how many you can get. Good luck. So how did you get on? So hopefully on your piece of paper you've drawn some bars like this and you found out that the eight went with the two. So hopefully you've got a number sentence like eight add two equals 10. If you had to go with the subtraction, you might have 10 take away two equals eight, or 10 take away eight equals two. Brilliant, well done. If you're having a go at the hundreds, your bar might have looked like this. So you've got your hundred as your whole, you've got your 20, and you've got 80. So you've got 80 and 20 equals 100. Did you have a go at the subtraction? So well done. We will email out some more bar models for you to have a go at. But don't forget, if you're having any problems, then use bits of pasta to help you count. Collect some old bottle tops or some counters or buttons or anything to help you with the counting. Okay, see you soon. Bye.